Okay, welcome back. We are uh, picking up where we left off. We had a little break. And quick recap of what's happening. Uh, our group is in a dungeon, and they know that there are Dwergar laying an ambush or charging them. They don't know yet ahead of them. They've got one Dwergar captive that they have knocked out. Lavinia had previously cast a light spell on that Dwergar's chest piece to blind him, and it had a very harsh effect on him, and he was blinded. He's badly wounded. He's the only one that survived of the three Dwergar that uh, were uh beaten down and two killed him unconscious and three others that ran away. They have gone to this mine to free some slaves that the Dwergar have. And that's the small encapsulated bit of a much bigger story that we're playing in this campaign. So now you guys can decide what you want to do. You're at this crossroads and you've been discussing strategies. Where do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Um, Going down that slope. Yeah, Thaddeus. On his way through the intersection is going to grab the glowing vest off the dwarf. Okay. To light my way. Fine. And I'll check the pockets as I go. Nice. Ah, <laughs> oh, smooth. Okay. You did not check the pockets of this dwarf before, did you? Nope. Right? You have not checked him. Uh, where's his... Uh... Come here, open up your list. His inventory, he had a staff and he had some leather armor. Oh, he might have had a message. Maybe you did get the message off of him already. It was probably yeah. one of three messages. There were three messages. Did you guys get oh, all the messages from read? I think we read those or you In read In the journal? Them. Yeah. If we go. While he's searching Percy, um, because our one active viewer who's uh, commenting here, why don't you can explain to him why you're the most manly of the group? Why am I the most manly? Melee. <laughs> why am I the most melee oriented of the group? Because uh, one of the things about uh, my background is I come from the Shoshone. And we are famed for our horse riding, wrestling. Uh, we uh, we very good at uh, running in the forest. And uh, so we have a great deal of physical prowess. And amongst my peers, I'm fairly burly. So I'm, I'm six foot and six foot two, I think. Anyway, so and Beard I also. Blue. Yeah, there you go. A six foot two, bearded blue. But also uh, I tend to favor items for up close encounters because I also have a, a mastery of the bow and arrow, but it's much more engaging for me to be right up close and battling people directly. So I really enjoy the fight. I enjoy the, the combat because it feels more honest than sniping somebody off at a distance. So I think that I'm the most melee of the group oh i know i'm the tiniest of the group mm -hmm. but i have a mean ass sickle mm -hmm. that will do serious damage yes. ass sickle <laughs> ass <-er. laughs> anyways that's maybe just... it's a popsicle maybe but uh... okay so i figured it out here's the thing he was in quests of course so you have quests uh, i think you can see him on the screen behind me if you go to quests, uh, under the Feywood quests, because we're not in Feywood yet, but these are still considered Feywood quests, Durgar Raiders is where the list was, where you had the Slaves for Transport yes. list. Mm -hmm. This is also where you had the uh, first letter that you translated and said, if you don't come back with someone what's good to sell to the Aesir, don't come back at all. And Perdris says, if and you don't bring back oil for the machine this time, he's going to make oil out of you. I'd believe a Mortlock if I was you. H. And you know H is, is uh, Hegland, who was the uh, apparently the leader. There is a third message on one of the other bodies that you did not discuss last time. And here it is. And as Thaddeus translates it, the third message says... And this was actually in Burgle's pocket. Third message says, Dalrin, Helgan says, 
We're leaving the mine tomorrow night to head back up north, soon as you get back with more slaves. Don't forget, you owe me three silvers from the card game last night, Marzel. Okay. Now you find this in Burgle's pocket. Um, can't talk right now. Running down the corridor. Okay, fine. <laughs> so let's go back did to... You, uh... Did you stuff his mouth? Yes. I stuffed his mouth and ripped off the vest. Okay. All right. So you are going to go down that corridor? Yep. Jack. And I'm going to sling him over my shoulder and carry on after. Like a Duergar boulder? Yep. Sling him over your shoulder like a Duergar boulder? I mean, you guys all go ahead and Bear and I will follow up the uh, the back and watch the, the back. Okay. As Thaddeus goes down this... uh passageway it descends to the point where when he gets to right about here uh do i have it on the screen the right way let me turn move the screen over when he gets to right about here there's a big 6a carved on the floor never mind about that <laughs> it turns a corner but right at the very bottom of the slope there's what appears to be uh, some water, about uh, five, six inches of water laying there from an old, what it must have been an old flood. Probably what destroyed the mine was an old flood. So uh, he finds water, he finds a left-hand turn. Um, I keep going, assuming that the rest of the companions are following me. I'm following are you guys following? Yeah. Sure. Following? Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm wrong about that. The water in the flooded barracks. Oh, this is, oh, now you know it's a barracks. Is cold <laughs> and it reaches to the ceiling. Ooh. One must hold their breath. I just watched Titanic last night. Ironically. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. You actually don't have a problem with that. So you wade into the cold water. Mm -hmm. uh, you are able to breathe underwater very easily, so it's no problem for you. And for those wondering why he could breathe underwater, you can check Thaddeus's backstory on our website, wildermage.com. Who's, who's, who's driving? Uh, w Y L D E R. Can we, can we a, a Dave head in the corner? Sorry. He can't put a Dave head in the corner of that screen. Of that screen. Because okay. I have not got it. I don't think I got it built the right way. Go back. Let's go back to it for a second. Adventure screen. Dave head. Dave head. Hey, Dave head. Okay. I got, it's something I have to fix. Okay. It, it's there for the table map though. Yeah. Oh no, that's just all of us. And you're carrying that vest of light, correct? Yep. Okay. And the rest of us are in pitch black. Is that true? We could use torches. Are you going to light a torch? Mm. Well, I would like to light a torch because... Even though my glasses of, of night work, they don't work in pitch black. So I will light a torch. You light a torch. Hey, how come I can't... Uh... And all of the underground grasses come up and ignite. <laughs> so far, it doesn't smell too bad. In there. I'm sure we would have smelled There, you've got a torch lit. Yeah, well, actually, I already had your torch lit, so I could... Have a little bit of light in here. So, Thaddeus, what do you decide to do? Are you going to continue moving down there? I'm, I'm continuing going. Okay. Uh, I stop for a moment and take out the shell of easy breathing. Oh. The shell of easy breathing. I then sprinkle a few drops of water into the shell of easy breathing, wait for it to fill with salt water, immerse my head in it, and now I can breathe underwater for up to eight hours. Is that a multiple uh, use? I put is, it down on water? the floor it... of the slope at the bottom so everyone can see it. And by the time the thing is full of salt water, you guys are all going to catch up with uh, well, me. Well, I'm assuming this would be fresh water. It's salt water comes from a magical source. Okay. In, in the... Where did you get the shell of easy breathing people? From the bag of holding, and we got it from the uh, undersea realm. And the king That's of the right. undersea realm is part of the dowry. The merfolk gave you the shell of easy breathing. Okay. 
so that you would be able to do stuff like so this. Can it only be used with one person or can no. it be used no, with no, two? No, he no. He just set it down. He he breathed and well, then he, he put it on the, the, yeah. the side. And and I'll, I'll read it here. Again. While the shell is activated, whatever a creature can submerge its head and let water and bubbles fill its nose and mouth or whatever body part it uses for breathing as a three action activity for the next eight hours the creature can breathe underwater so this does not have a limit on how many creatures can use it or anything that so that is correct what i would like to yell back is use the shell pick it up when we're done and i'm going to carry on uh I'm going to douse the dwarf, of course, and then we'll carry on under. Okay, Percy gets a hero point for being smart. Yay! Yay. And yes, uh, Shell of Easy Breathing, is. this is exactly the kind of purpose that you have it for. You also have Lavinia's water breathing spells and other things, but the Shell of Easy Breathing is a quick, easy way for you to deal with stuff. Yep. As uh, Thaddeus moves forward, he finds that he comes to a spot on his uh, right where there is a big stone block that's blocking it. I'm going to move the map so that uh, it's good on. We're going to put it on the triple screen for a sec. And Thaddeus is moving out. So I'm going to just move the map over uh, like this. You guys can move minis as you need to so that you're sorted out for your minis. Okay. Thaddeus is now faced with a way ahead of him and an alcove to his right. Close and a big right stone block to his left. To the right. It appears that that passage is all blocked off. And he can continue to move as he wishes under the water. I'll also put this on the adventure screen now so you can see the adventure screen give you an idea of where they're at. There's Thaddeus and what he is exploring right now. What do you want to do? You want to continue to move downwards? Yep. And I'm going to try and follow him. Try and move it. Yeah, that's good. Thank you, Thaddeus, for moving your token too. If you guys could uh, actually move your tokens along with wherever your minis go, uh, I, I don't have time to do both things at the same time. Yeah. Okay, so as Thaddeus moves down, he finds that he's at a little crossroads here. He's got, once again, a blocked passage on his right as he's facing downwards. And uh, it's open ahead of him, the water-filled passage, and there's also a water-filled passage to his left. And Percy comes along and jumps on his head. Oh. <laughs> I think at this point we need to wait for the others to arrive. Yeah, you guys can well, do. Well, are, are, are we arrived? Well, obviously. What do you got to do? Are you guys talk. going with them? Where are you going to be? Uh, let's wait a second because we apparently needed a bio break right now. So. Well, you guys decide and then she'll catch up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you think? You want to follow? Next? May as well. I, I mean, where else? What else are we going to do, right? So, um, Percy, you've got you've got uh, that dwarf with you, right? That dwarf guy. I would like yeah. to know. Yeah, if B, I can... he needs to be attached to me. I, I will somehow. do that. Yeah. Okay. Is it? I can I use this shell on Bear? Yeah. Yeah. You just, so, you like, just I would put it on his would, face. You, and... No, no, you just stroke his nose, mm -hmm. calm him down, mm -hmm. tell him to put his nose into the water, and then once he puts his nose into the water, he becomes enchanted by it, and it allows him to breathe underwater. Okay, let's so go back. It's, it's up to you to coax him yeah. to do it. Yeah, we're going to do that. The description of that shell specifically says any creature. Yeah. So it counts for people and bears. Bears okay. and bears, yeah. Well, wolves and bears. <laughs> I'm going to unsummon my raven so she doesn't have to do Just this. Just to comp the complicate, right. simplify the thing. I think it would be something a bird wouldn't want to be. <laughs> what? Bird don't want to be in water. Nope. Unless it's a penguin. And I love penguins. Now, how are you guys doing? Are you able to move your tokens around? Get your tokens to go. Remember, yeah, up you, right, yeah, left, yeah, left, right, up, down. Click on your your marker. You usually click on your marker to make it and work. And then use the up, right, left, right to move it around. Okay, but it's still pitch black here. You okay? 
It's more light where we are. Okay, well, no, just just move your digital token. Click yeah. on it and then you're use going, the arrow. You're in buttons. the mud pit, Josephine. You just walked through two walls. No, 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 no. Well, I'm going back. I'm trying to. Dang it. There. there we go. Josephine oh, made it. Oh, she got oh, overzealous. Oh, oh, oh. oh. She's just going to walk through the walls. It's okay. I'm not sure how you even. Sticky keys. Click, click, your click, your your click your icon. Click your token. Yep. Yeah. And then go use arrow keys up, down, left, right. Where did Bear go, though? Was yeah, there. where the hell did Bear go? Hold on, let me fix him. I will get Bear. He is supposed to be here with you. Bear appears. This is why I He's don't so do. Big. This is why I don't do video games. No. Well, if you need to, just go through the screen. Wall. He's just covering I, us oh, all. Okay. Now. I can only see it. You can only there. see it there. Okay. Why can't you see the map on your screen? I'm just going to move him up a little bit just so that he doesn't cover everybody else. Just close your character sheet and the map should be there. Okay, fine. Uh, Glenn? I'm going to cast a scroll of light on my hat because if I'm in the back, and the light is way ahead of me. I'm not going to be able to see much. Okay. There mm -hmm. is a, your hat is lit up and you no longer have the torch lit. Thaddeus, which way you want to go now? What do you think? Mr. <sighs> Tether would be recommended. <laughs> 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 You want to veer off in the side. Point. All right. Yeah, yeah no. Okay. Yeah. There's something wrong about that raven. Away. Raven. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to fix it, but it won't work. The raven, raven. The, the raven is somehow stuck. Yep. And is. I can't even get him to unstick. I can't figure out what's going on. Oh, Lavinia, are you uh, coming? Just ignore that raven there. It's just some yes, bug in the token. Thank you. He's un she's unsummoned anyway, so. I can't get it to do anything. Hmm. I don't know why. Okay, you decide to go down that way. And ahead of you, down the passage. Looks like it's clear and clean. You don't see anything else. Down the passage. We can breathe underwater for up to eight hours with this. Um... Yes, yep. man. Awesome. That's way better than any spell Lavinia has. Oh, no offense. You be nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, little one. So Thaddeus <laughs> swims down the passage a little further, and he discovers that he is in a little... Room with six a table. He's in six degrees Celsius. Ooh. It's cold water, man. Everything's shrinking. And uh, <laughs> let's uh, see. There's actually a description. This uh, looks like it's an like, old flooded kitchen. Uh, with a bit of dining room there is an air pocket trapped at the roof of this room and as you uh look up uh, the light is pretty good at being brightly lit by this leather vest that you're carrying that's lit <laughs> up it looks like there's a ceramic jug floating in this air pocket on the ceiling how high is the ceiling it's only like like I said, six feet, six, six and a half feet. feet. Okay. Like literally, you're almost looking at the jug, like right here. Okay. okay. So, somebody grab that jug for me, please. Also, you notice there's a little glint of something that's uh, on the wall, and as you look over, you see that there's a hook on the wall, and there's a set of keys hanging on it. I'm going to examine the keys, or just take them, or just take them. It looks like it's a ring with some old metal keys on it but the yeah. keys uh fortunately have been made of brass or bronze mm -hmm. and they're a little bit corroded but they have not rusted away like an iron key would have. okay 
So you're fortunate in that. So you take the jug. The um, you're taking the jug. The, I'm taking the keys. I took the jug, jug and the jug is going to, into the stash. I handed it to Lavinia. <clears throat> you're just taking the jug. It's a sealed jug, right? You didn't say that. It's a sealed jug. I did know. It's a jug of surprise. <laughs> so, do, and you, you well, it's I'm not going to tell you what to do. What do you want to do with this jug? Okay. Oh, I handed it to Lavinia. She said, Lavinia, what do you want to do with this jug? I want to add it into the party stash. All right. You stick the jug in the party stash. We'll figure it out later. Sorry, I have a technical question. So this jug appears. Where do we see this jug in our on our displays on our computers? Or we don't. You don't just get to because you're it. not decided. You're just going to shove it in a party stash and not look at it. So I'm not turning it on. Well, we are looking at it. It's in our hands, and it's a ceramic, and it's sealed. Yeah, we have to examine Can it. Can we learn more about it? Okay, I re-put the jug there. You can click the jug now. Ooh. Is the jug lootable? I, I lacked the permission oh to update token. <laughs> what? Fucking jug. Sealed fucking jug. <laughs> Take my loot. Hold on. I'm giving ownership to everybody. There. Now you all have ownership of the jug. No, there's a healing potion, an any venom potion, and a healing potion moderate. So a, a lesser healing potion. And uh, so, uh, so Lavinia, for the people at home, this is what they're looking at. Here's the Lavinia jug. or uh, Raven, you need to come in and uh, clear this out. And we will, after game time, we will just put just this in. Just do it right now. Just drag and drop it into your own. While you're dealing with that jug, Thaddeus, what do you want to do? I want to go back now that we've got the, the stuff. Want well, to go back actually, up the hallway? actually, it probably wouldn't hurt to have a good look around. Well, the only thing water. you find are the keys in the jug. Okay. Nothing else to be Nothing found else? in this waterlogged kitchen. Fine. Moving on. Moving on up. I'm going to change. Moving on up. Moving the screen's on. Screens a little bit for you. To break free. Nothing can stop us. <sighs> I'm going to uh, pull this uh, screen over just a little bit because we're going to be doing a little bit more like that. Okay. Did so you which way did you go, Thaddeus? Um, I went okay. back um, where we had been, and I'm going around, going straight from... I'm ahead of Percy and the Dwarf, where they are right now. Oh, I see. You're hidden by the fog of war. Yep. Yeah, the others are lagging behind us a bit. But there we go. Okay, there. so Fog of War shows you that there's a slope going up now. It appears to be a stairway. Ah! Yay! And this stairway is climbing up out of the water. Huzzah! Woohoo! All right, so as you climb up under out of the water, you find yourselves in what looks to be an old, dilapidated barracks. Come on. Come on, screen. How did you beat us here, Raven? Hey, I'm a mage. He teleported through the wall <laughs> with his mage powers. Plus, there's another mangy power. Another little path there. The title of the book is Nova Roma. And as you open up the book, it's a very badly waterlogged book. New Rome. New Rome, yeah. And uh, you can actually now see it in your journal under lore. It's called Nova Roma. Here it is on the screen. Is it on the screen behind me, Nova Roma? Uh, you've got to scroll down. Yes. Okay, and it says this badly waterlogged book is un unreadable except for a few pages. And there is one of the first pages of the book is right here. Uh, there's some text on it that's, and it looks like it's an, some type of printed image of a Roman legionnaire on a horse leading a legion through some type of portal. And he's got the big eagle standard that's well known for the Rome Romans. And it says here, as you make out the 
with uh, Thaddeus's magnifying glass, it says, one of the few remaining accounts of the arrival of the legendary Ninth Legion stated that they appeared out of nowhere in the Pictish wilds, as if a swirling portal to the other world opened and they marched through. The Nova Roma Empire counts this event as the origin of their beginning in the eastern lands. Thus, the common use of the Nova Roma calendar and the term Adventus Aquilae has come to define the days of the current age. The arrival of the eagle. So, uh, it goes on, you find another page, and uh, the second page that's readable, there aren't very many, but the next page says, uh, to reclaim their lands and build the city of Nova Roma, the legions of Nova Roma battled the Olympians for centuries, eventually emerging victorious. Mount Olympus, the last holdout of the Olympians, remains under siege to this day. You find another one that it looks like it's an image of the city of Nova Roma with a legionnaire standing in front of it. And then you find one, uh, and there's a page that has an image of Romans battling the Celte dwarves. Uh, there is no text, though. It's just the caption. There's another image later on you find the... I, this is the last image that's that's uh, you're able to make out anything in the book, and it just says battling the drow. Ooh. So yeah, this is the history information that you find in the book of Nova <clears throat> Roma. So yeah. if you look at your map, and you can look at the one on the wall, you'll see that it says it's a map of era, but underneath it, it shows that this particular map is the Western Lands, uh -huh. W E S T R Y N. This book is about something that's occurred in the eastern lands, which is obviously got to be across the Sea of Atlantis, right? But the important information from this is the calendar, right? Because this information indicates that the calendar counts its time from the arrival of the Ninth Legion in this world, which was... What's what's your current calendar date uh, on this? 1779. Book? So apparently 1779 years ago, the Ninth Legion arrived in the world of Era and rebuilt the Rome that they knew here in Era as wow. Nova Roma. And that's why if you click on any of your calendars, you'll see that it says 1779 AA, Adventus Aquilae, Arrival of the Eagle. So that's why you know there's a difference in the year date stamp of this and 1899 when you guys arrived. Mm -hmm. And uh, other stuff that you can look at in this room. What can you find? I tried clicking the scroll in the corner and it would not let me open it. There is a little green book up in the top corner. I wonder if Raven is able to click that and get it to work. There's also glowing right in the center above the 6th sea, something laying on the ground. That was not there before. And it appears as soon as you click that mirror that's there. Uh, Wilbur's Gunther. All of a sudden. Gryffindor. 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 Let me uh, just... Get this so that it appears. Don't you have something in front? Boop. A ghost appears. Pops out of the mirror. It says, ho, ho, hello. And uh, well, hello, Willis. Hello, my friend. Aww. How are you, sir? He smiles at you. You can see he's a kind of a cute little guy. Uh, I think that we can actually click him up and pop him out. He kind of has a, like a wholesome so he wish here. He wants the mirror to be returned to the memorial in the forge so his soul can be remembered in the dwarven mountain gods and he can re be released from this place. Because it is so bored being trapped here all the time. Oh, this so that's what he would like that. if you can find the uh shrine to place the mirror on it would really help me out a lot thanks very much side quest 
Yeah, right. let's do it. So he's happy to answer any questions about the mine. Mm -hmm. also That's make right. fun of us if we mess up. Do you happen to know if we there are prisoners being held here and where the, where we could find them? Prisoners? Oh, I know about the mine as it was when it was an operating mine. You know, this is called the Shallow Creek Mine, and it was great until the creek wasn't shallow anymore. And suddenly one time the floodwaters rose, flooded out a whole mine, killed a bunch of us. I'm the only one that's left as a ghost, though. There might be a few supplies around and a few other things. I hear that in some of the rooms up to the up to the north of us, there are some folk that have come into the mine recently and they're not healthy folk. But I don't know who's where or what they're doing. I might decide, I've never bothered to go look. I might decide to tag along with you though and have a look just to make sure that you're doing things the right way, you know. Would you like to come with us and help us in our quest? Oh, I, I think rather than help you, I'll just watch and make snide comments. That oh, would be my great. role as uh, a, a you, little you extra ghost. You wouldn't want to peek through walls <laughs> and see if there is danger for us, would you? Nope. Ugh. <clears throat> I'm going to see if you, if, you know, whether you're going to join me as ghosts or not, frankly. Because if I can't have the mirror delivered, I suppose company would be my second, my second uh, choice. So mm. if we do Fair this enough. quest for you... Can you give us uh, an idea of what your level of gratitude would be? My level of gratitude would be this. And because Raven has beaked off to Willibrus Girthender, Willibrus Girthender has now splattered Raven with ectoplasm. Oh, and yeah. Raven's hat is no longer lit. Oh, that was rude. Yes, you, you were. You. <laughs> I've been slimed. You should be mm -hmm. Willibus Goo I've been slimed. It's a pity that slime doesn't glow. <laughs> so I mean, he's not going to help you, and he's just going to come along people. and watch. But you never know. He'll certainly help you as far as any details of what places to go in the mind or what might be ahead in those areas that he knows about. Not about creatures that might be about that could jump out and get you. Well, how do we get out of this room? You know, you got to go back the way you came. Back down through the drowned hall. That's the only way out. But there's a little green book I noticed in the corner here. Did you have any success clicking on it, Raven? Um, it allowed me to do a... Uh, like um, search for books so if i click yes and then you have to click gather i do but it says there's zero so i've already gathered it but i don't know where to put it look in the if chat if you look in your chat the chat says raven gathered a ruined book okay so you ended up with a ruined one this time such is life so like not a ruined book but a ruined book Mm. That is correct. Yes. Thank you for clarifying that because I mm -hmm. was just wondering. Yeah, because often we pick up things that are ruined mm -hmm. and occasionally we, we come across things that are ruined. Those are the only things you find in this room other than this strange black moldy stuff that's on the wall uh, ahead of the beds. And apparently that's where the source of cold is coming from is that that stuff is sucking all the heat out of this room. Let well, I suggest we don't what, steer clear of that. that stuff on the wall is. I don't know. Do you want to figure it out? Get your list of who is head who head. is uh, wanting to go and look? I will take my Bowie knife and try to excise a small portion of it. And what are you holding? What am I holding? Bowie knife and a dwarf, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> but I put the dwarf down. Okay. As you as you scrape off a small portion of the mold, a few tufts of spores go, and you can tell that they are very poisonous. Oh, this is very poisonous. Mm. So, I have a question. Yes. Um, will yeah, anti-venom medicine work in an instance where you've got poisonous spores anti-venom medicine is a medicine for what for venom specifically for i don't think they're the oh, venom i didn't say that anybody was hurt by these poisonous spores just that it's there yeah 
Okay. Now, on the other hand, if you'd walked up to it with a torch, that would have been a very bad thing. But you see, Percy's the one that went there instead of Thaddeus. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Thaddeus would have been okay, too, because the 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 thing. But anybody holding a torch that had walked up to that would have triggered that brown mold. Well, yeah, because essentially so you dodged you the bullet, vision, right? Yeah, both of us. You dodged we the bullet. Dodge the spore. Yeah. And yes, any venom only works on a uh, venom from you know a like sting a spider or a bite. Or, or bite or, and yeah. these spores, they're like a dust powder. Can they yes. be collected? Floating in, in the air. Uh any contact with them will poison you. Hmm. Okay. So I uh, I don't know how you would collect them into a bottle or something like that. Leave them alone, Mr. Mr. Alexium. Alexium, pretty that's good, his name. good We're wizard curiosity, though. I wonder if I can try today. this. That might kill me. Hmm. I've, I've been awake. Mm -mm. Well, we could put a... Well, if we put a bottle <laughs> over top of a spore and then broke it. We could gather it that way. Well, it's not like... I mean, these spores are super, super little fine dust motes floating in the air. Okay. So if you walk over there and you go like this, now you're poisoned. Okay. It's a bad idea. Yeah. You may no have noticed breathing. that so, those, wait, wait, some wait, of us wait, aren't wait, even in the room have anymore. the underwater breathing on yeah. though? So does that, does that make us breathe separately than like under, underwater breathing? Let us breathe in spores? No. But this area is not underwater. But we are still protected by it. No, no you're protected. Just... You're allowed to breathe in the water, but it, once you walk out in the air, it doesn't protect you from. No. It's not like a mask. No. Although that would be valid if you were wearing a mask over. I would then consider if it was a mask that spores go through. But in this case, it's not like a mask. It's just like ability to magically breathe. Right. We forgot to reset the timer, by the way. Oh, we did. Okay. Uh, I'm going to manually set a timer and i'm going to set that timer for another 15 minutes okay so we're going to beetle out of the room here thaddeus Let yes. us beetle. can you remove the tripwire from that direction so we can go that way okay so you decide to Is depart this area the ghost? And you decide, the he's, ghost decides he'll just come along on his he's, own. He's going to follow if he wants. Well, we need, he we just need to see what's happening in this intersection. Do, 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 do. Yes, we're keeping our eyes open for what's happening in the intersection. As you it's come up to the intersection, you find it exactly as you left it. Willibrus looks and he says, oh, a tripwire. Oh, pretty sneaky. Here, He's let really me show cute. you how like ghosts it. work with tripwires. Kind of oh, I went through it. Oh, I came through it the other way. Oh, I've got to go through this one. Oh, 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 I went through it again. See, nothing happens. You're lucky it's not ghosts after you, aren't you? <laughs> so you come back to the intersection where you were. Lavinia, you'll need to move your token. Uh -huh. up and I'm asking, I'm asking uh, uh, Thaddeus to remove the tripwire from the direction straight ahead of us. Well, so we can you. proceed downhill. I am listening in both directions to see if I can hear any commotions. Okay. Any commotion? Now there's complete silence hmm. from the uh, passage going straight up to the north. Uh, I should also make sure, since we are moving, I'm going to move the map and pull you out of that area and back to here because this is the way you want to go. All right. Hmm. Look at that. All the minis are actually in the right place almost. That's nice. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll update the adventure screen as well. What's happened to the adventure screen? Why isn't it there? It got messed up. That's why. Okay, there. Good. So this is where you are. And uh, which tripwire is it you wish to remove? The one, one. The one. Which one is it? That one? Yeah. All right. So you go over and you remove your tripwire. Are we going to put it back across the way that we just came, just in case? Going to put a tripwire behind you? Well, I would I imagine you have to. if the, the bad guys put the tripwire there, they'd know about it. So it probably wouldn't trip them. 
right? Uh, no, this is our tripwire. Oh, like Thaddeus. Uh, yeah, we put it there when when we heard. Oh, the I words see. Yeah. Okay, they didn't want to get attack. stuck up on from the side or the front. Okay, right. And and we're now putting a tripwire behind us because we explored it. It's underwater, and we've already found out there's nothing there. There okay. could be Apart more a new beyond companion. what we explored. Mm -hmm. There could be. The area didn't look like you find any other passages unless there was a secret one you did not detect. Yes. That's always a possibility, especially with us, and especially with this game master saying that we always miss shit, so... <laughs> there there might, so far. might have been one. Okay, it's a very uh, distinct possibility. So... Thaddeus has walked down the thing down the Thank other uh, heavy slope and he comes to an area it looks like oh, it's carved out but there's a lot of rubble laying around ahead of him and he comes to uh, once again uh, an intersection Le right left front kind of thing as he steps into this area all of a sudden he sees hears some squeak 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 and foop, 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 foop. Mm. and above him a bunch of uh, a swarm of vampire bats come and they attack him immediately. So this swarm of vampire bats, uh, they hit him for... Let's use our new mug. Hooray! This is the mug that uh, Lavinia and Josephine got me for Father's Day that has the cool, awesome dice roller in it. And with an 18... They end up hitting oh, darn. Uh, Thaddeus. Thaddeus, and they end up doing, let's find out how much damage a bunch of vampire, a swarm of vampire bats do. The action is called Blood Feast. Can you just put away during that too? 1d4. Oh, she wouldn't help us. I don't us know if this. you can take this no, kind of damage. She'd swoop at the bat? Thaddeus. No, I think she'd get beat up. Prepare mm -hmm. yourself. For 1d4 plus bleed, no. two points of damage and one oh, point of bleed Daddy. from a vampire swarm. We're going to miss you. I, I'm pretty sure all the damage is more psychological because who likes being swarmed at by I'm a I'm not even going to put you guys in initiative. Bat. It's one stupid little bunch of vampires, bats. So Thaddeus obviously is going to react. What do you want to do? You want to whack him? Yep. Go ahead. Roll the hit. He could be psychologically in damaged and turn I'm into not going to bother with combat because he's going to kill him. Okay. They've got an armor class of 15 and 11 hit points. They're they're going down. Well, what's your extra? <laughs> what's your extra? Oh. Uh, what am I looking at? Which, which uh, thing are you using? The, the cane rapier? Oh, the, the cane rapier. Yeah. Um, what's 10, your plus a uh, plus 13 okay you're all right you're, you're all fine. right you're fine, <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> okay roll for damage Close that if you want um you guys want it open we've got the fan on um, okay damage is 1d6 plus 2 piercing and 1d4 fire uh 1d6 plus 6 well, do you need a cup where's our extra and one d4 what here's a cup for you thaddeus thank you okay give me the cup back. we got one for him that's a dice cup so what did you what total damage did you do okay one d6 i rolled four plus two six and then the one d4 fire i rolled a four a four. What so as the fire down. hits them, foop, they all drop to the ground, squashed and dead. And the vampire bats are done. Oh, poor baddies. They got squashed even. Well, they got, they they burned up as the fire hit them from his thing. Crispy okay. fried fleeter mouse. Okay. All right. Anyways, moving on. Thaddeus and Percy have moved off into an area. As Percy walks down to the spot that he is in, I need to get some fog off of here for you guys. Do, 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 do. Uh, we have got only about seven minutes left. But as Percy walks around the corner where he oh. is, he sees what appears to be a big-ass cave spider 
who obviously is aware of him and attacks. So uh, we are uh, going for break. First, you're rolling for initiative, mm-hmm. and then we're going for break. Don't forget what your initiative is, because I'm going to be setting up initiative for everybody. Bugger us. How did I, I miss? Oh. How, did, how did I miss? Rob, you have got you, you've got you you got legendary skills for dropping dice from a cup. I do, I do. He's a dice launcher. I rolled a two. Okay. Boom. Everybody's in here, except we got to take out the dwarf. Oh, the dwarf didn't go in. Interesting. All right. Does One, bear two, roll three, for, four, for initiative? Five. Bear can, but bear's off in a wall someplace. You're going to bring him into this and get him where he's supposed five. to be? He's in a wall somewhere? Well, he's, yeah, he's over here. His, again. his icon no, is we're, sitting in a wall. We're way over there. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm going to correct the, the map. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I'm looking at my screen, not the map. We're going to put the map front and center here. Because so, Bear was hanging out with us. Don't don't companions go immediately after their uh, yes, master? Yes, and he will. So we're all the way over here like this. Um, and the screen's on me. Why is it on my damn face? We need to get it in better places than that. Okay, good. There. Okay, uh... We're going to go and take a break now. Guys, we're going to be back right now. It is 9.09 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. We are going to be back at 9.20 p.m. So 11 minutes, we will be here. We'll see you then. Um